Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome back to... well, <laughs> welcome back to nothing really. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. So, uh, yeah, this is Hearts of Iron 3, their finest hour, the latest expansion. I've just been getting into Hearts of Iron recently. I'm a huge fan of the Paradox games. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with the Paradox games, they're uh, real-time strategy games, possible real-time strategy crazy politics and diplomacy and warfare and lots of awesomeness going on uh, yeah so let's just get going here I I'm gonna be trying something a little different I'm sure it's been done before and it'll almost almost certainly end up in, in failure but we'll see what happens I'm gonna be playing as Romania and gonna be starting in 1936 so uh, Hearts of Iron is set during World War II, the period just before and going towards the end of World War II. And uh, yeah, well, let's just uh, let's see what happens. Basically, I'm going to be trying to expand as much as possible. Yeah, not really historically accurate, but you know, whatever, we'll have to make do. And I've done a couple of test games with this before. I haven't gone super far into the game. Just hit the uh, 19, early 1940s. So just as the war is getting off the ground. And things were going okay. So we'll see what happens this go around. And yeah, I'm, I'm still somewhat of a newbie at this game. Okay, I'm a huge newbie at this game, actually. <laughs> this is one of my first uh, real attempts to uh, to play this and do well at it so we'll see what happens uh, it is probably the most complex out of all of the all of the uh, paradox games so yeah <laughs> see what happens the the paradox games uh, start off fairly simple if you go with something like um, Europa Universalis or even Crusader Kings are fairly easy to get the hang of but then you start getting to things like Victoria 2 and Hearts of Iron and more recently the uh, oh god what's it called the Napoleon game oh, I forget the name of it also there's gonna be East vs. West coming out soon which is basically uh, Hearts of Iron set during the Cold War But anyway if you guys have any questions or anything about the Paradox games any of that just drop it down below And if you have any advice for me please help me out because I am a newbie so yeah, uh, first things first, going to be getting our diplomacy going, get a uh, trade automated so that the AI will just take care of that for us, and we're also going to start preparing for war. We have this decision here, which will basically let us be less neutral, which is awesome. The lower our neutrality, the easier we can go to war. And I'm also going to align myself to the Axis. So as you can see here, there's uh, three three corners of the pyramid. The common turn, which is uh, run by the USSR, the Allies, which is run by UK, and then the Axis, which is run by the Germans. So basically, I'm going to be going straight up, straight up Axis. <laughs> I'm not going to be waiting around for anything. Uh, throughout the course of the actual game, if you're playing it properly and not trying what I'm trying, the uh, Romania gets tugged back and forth between the Allies and the Axis, so that uh, that's kind of an issue. But this way, if I go straight for the Axis, I should be able to start attacking as soon as I possibly can. All right. So uh, first things first. While well, we did that already, I'm going to unassign all the leaders. I'll take care of. I'll do all the organization for my army off camera. Then I'll just show on camera exactly what I did. Uh, the game starts you off with the organization. It's very, very poor. So yeah, definitely gonna need to uh, gonna need to take care of that. Okay, and get our production going. We'd like to. Oh, okay. First things first. Since I can't actually build any production. Okay, yeah, I'm all over the place right now. Let's let's do this properly. So production can't actually build any more industrial capacity which is what I need for well for making things so that's kind of a bummer but I will start working on some of these dudes over here Just trying to decide you do get a uh, combined arms bonuses for your infantry divisions if you mix them in with you see infantry is all brown then you have the green and blue and red 
and purple is armor. So if you mix them in with those things, as you will see here, you get a... Uh, let's pick one. Yeah, that's not it. There we go. So that has a combined uh, bonus. It has motorized infantry and armor, so you get a 5% bonus. So yeah. Well, uh, we're going to have to work on uh, on some bonuses here. But let's actually check our army real quick. Yeah, cavalry can just. Yeah, cavalry can just suck it. Go, go away, cavalry. We do not want you. Do not want this band. Is that just the HQ? Might be. Yep. All right. So let's do these three and disband all units. Yes. Don't care about cavalry. It'll be useless. Or so I believe, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Let me just check our divisions here. I think all the divisions are pretty good. Yeah, they've all got three infantries. So let's try to get one more car. What is the IC needed? IC 7.2, 7.4. Get a couple of these going. Do them as reserves because we're not going to need them right away. So get five of those going. Honestly, don't know if I'm doing this the right way, but I uh, don't particularly care. <laughs> we'll see what happens. This is my first real attempt, as I said before. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so that's our production gone. More research. All right, let's work on this. We need to get our officer ratio up. Producing three officers. Nope, that's way too many. I'll just go with one. There we go. We got one officer. Diplomacy points. Don't really care. We do want to have a little bit. Go with right, 0.1 a day. Oh, and I'll be right back. Okay, and back. Sorry about that. Somebody at my door. I need to take care of that. Pardon the noise as I get comfortable in my chair again. All right, so what else? So we did diplomacy is all good. Uh, yeah, we'll lower that a little bit as well. Go point, oh, okay, I wanna get four. No, I wanna get five. There, so we're gonna have five research projects going, which means we're making point one, two spies. Yeah, whatever. Don't particularly care about that. So. I need a few very important things here. Construction engineering, I need to get um, IC production, I see, like I said, inter industrial capacity, I need that to build stuff. Uh, I'm also going to do a couple of researches here, I don't know if this is the smartest way of doing it, but basically these are just uh, theories that lower your research, I guess, basically uh, the how fast you research something in that category so uh, when you research something you have a uh, practical knowledge that you gain from it so the more practical knowledge you have in that category the easier it'll be to research that thing that you're researching so construction engineering I believe is counts as so well, maybe it doesn't count as never mind it doesn't <laughs> it does not count as this but I do also want this because I want slightly better research later on and let's get our industrial capacity going there as well. Alright, so that's that. It's tech, politics, anything need to change here? I don't think so. Yep, stay susceptible to Axis because I would like to join them and be all evil. Okay. And most important here, make sure we have 10 domestic spies to uh, take care of any any infiltrators from other nations and we'll raise our national unity a little bit as well have that on a lower lower number there and then we'll worry about other spies later on don't care about theaters don't care about that all right let's speed up time here and we'll just let things play out a little bit so i have uh, i have watched a few uh, episodes here and there of some uh, Hearts of Iron Rats, uh, Rats prize. <laughs> wow, again, forgetting my R's. Oh, there's the Spanish Civil War happening. There we go. Spain is all broken up now. 
I wonder who's going to win. Most of the time, it's National of Spain that wins, but hey, you never know. And I'm not going to read all these texts if you guys want to read them. Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see them. I don't know if the quality is going to be perfect, but it should be good enough that you can read what's going on. Basically, they're, they're fighting because one side is fascist and one side is more communist, so, you know. They don't really get along too well. Okay. So, our officer pool is going up. That's good. Good, good, good. Alright. And I guess I might as well start on these since there's not much more I can do at the moment. Oh, I can actually enact a new law here. Specialist training. So they start with more experience, but it takes longer. It works for me. Okay, cool. So, yes, let's start organizing. Okay, first things first, I need to get this thing up here and get rid of this one theater. So I do not need two theaters at all. Okay, there we go. So... Everything is under the uh, Bucharest HQ. I'm, I am actually a Romanian, which is part of the reason why I decided to play Romania. I always wanted to see Romania expand and, you know, take over the world as much as possible. So, I will uh, I will do my best with that. And these guys are attached there. Right, good. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to, <laughs> going to try to pronounce as much of the names as I can in Romanian. So, that's the Bucharest HQ, and that's the Cluj HQ. I will disband the Cluj HQ because I do not care for it very much. And now it's time to start organizing things. Okay, first of all, you guys get out of there. Uh, we got a sub and a destroyer. Okay. And for air, we have a bunch of things that need to be separated, I think. Yes, I will do that. And I'll leave... No, I'll separate these guys too. There we go. So when I start working on uh, an air, <laughs> air group, <laughs> if I ever end up getting to that point, I will uh, build those up a little bit. Anyways, let us reorganize here. So, basically, the way the hierarchy works... I'm actually gonna advance time as I'm doing this. The way the hierarchy works, uh, you have the 6-star at the very top, that's the HQ. Then, one lower down, you should have the army group. We don't have one, so we will make one. Okay, so we have the army group now. Still on the sign all, I don't care about... Okay. So now that we have the army group, we will attach this. Oh, it's already attached. My bad. Cool, yeah, so it's attached to that. Perfect. Just gonna detach all of these. Okay. So we have an army group, first army. And we have one core. That is actually my armored core, so I'm going to detach these guys. three divisions oh my god yeah this part is kind of boring but it must be done if you want to ensure that well everything works out for you when you're in combat so god this is gonna be so annoying i have to disband some of these because that was... basically i want to do it so that oh which which core was that core four each um, each core can have a maximum of five divisions. Each army can have a maximum of five core, and then army group, five armies, and so on and so forth. So basically, I want to keep things as strong as possible. And that involves uh, hopefully not failing. You know what? I'm just going to detach all the things. Reorganize them afterwards. Okay. Core three. Perfect. I will leave the Alpinist. That's that's what that says. The Corp Alpinist. That's uh, Alpine dudes. <laughs> Basically, your your mountain guys. 
And I've got four divisions there. That's not bad. So I'm actually going to attach these guys into the structure there. there we go. So that's two of them. All right. Let's start attaching these guys where they're supposed to go. Core one. Why not? Core one. Core one. Time to stop. I keep. <laughs> like, there's absolutely no point in me having it pause right now because. Well, there's nothing really happening at the moment. I'm just waiting for stuff to complete, so but I'm just I'm just so used to pausing things. Okay, so that's two core down. Next is core two. Core two. Core two. And core two. Okay, oh no, we need one more in there. Core 2, okay, so Core 2, attached to the first army, perfect, we have that, what do we have, we have 3 infantry divisions left, and that, okay, I'm just going to, these guys, attach to 3, 3, and 3, might as well attach them to 3 as well, I'm just going to have to remember where they are, Attach these to the first army. One, two, three, four, five. Cool, we got five of those. Perfect. Now we can disband these guys. Free up some officers, free up some manpower. Alright, looking a little better now. So, things are still paused. <laughs> there we go. Keep it going again. Let's start working on leadership here. So, at the very top, I would like to go with you, sir. I believe the uh, the theater HQ uh, reduces the, the stacking penalty. Um, and then, the, the reason why you want to have stuff in a hierarchy is the bonuses just get passed down further and further down the line. So this guy's got four skill rank. So basically, he's four times as good as a one skill rank guy would be at this. But, uh, like, the army group, I think, is the uh, supply, I want to say. Pretty sure it's supply. Don't really want to put this guy up there. I'd rather have him at a core level. Because the, uh, the trace that they have, their bonuses get passed down as well, but they get halved with each level they go down so if I were to leave them at the army group level the army itself would have 5% and the core would have 2.5 and each division would have 1.25 so yeah I'm gonna keep them a little further up but I'll put this guy up there why not I'll dare you can be my army group general and the first army yeah we'll go with Phelps or Fleps I suppose Okay, core four. Okay, let's start adding some of these in here. Maybe. Kind of tempted to. Yeah, these guys will be at the core level. Okay. Okay. I'll put you here. I want assistant engineer, the commando, is that the guy with the supply? Yeah, out of supply bonus. Whoop, that's too many stars. You go there. Yeah, this is probably the most boring part of the game right here. And honestly, I didn't even know about this part of the game until I started watching some of the uh, Let's Plays. Because it uh, seems to be one of the most important parts. And the infantry divisions. Oh my god. Kinda just don't. It's set to auto assign, right? So. Can you auto assign maybe? Well, I feel like I should have maybe put three skill rank guys up here. Okay, I keep pausing it. Stop pausing the goddamn game, dude. Need things to happen. Oops, there's something happening. More efficient laws. Basic mobilization. Yes, please. Where's that? Here it is. More things. 
Less money, but more I see, more resources. Very important. Oh boy. Yeah, I might have to go back. Okay, no leader. I'm gonna keep him there because I like the uh, the bonus he has. No leader. I'm just going back on what I just did. So sorry for that, but need to redo this. Okay. So skill rank three. What do you got? Engineer. Offensive doctrine. Yeah, we'll go with the offensive. Schwab. Maybe core four. We've got one. Core. Core one. Engineer. Maybe. No, no, no. I'm gonna go. The engineer will go. Okay, you guys will get the fortress buster. Where? Yep. Yeah, there's the armored guy. So put the engineer in there. Do one of those. Alright, so all of these guys are three star or three skill rank. Let's just go through these real quick, I guess. What uh what traits do we have here that I can use? I don't really like I don't want to use old guard. I feel like it's a bad idea. Uh, I don't know. You guys let me know if it is a bad idea or not. It just feels like it is a bad idea. So you just get less less experience, right? So that doesn't seem too great. I'm going to try to avoid that if I can. Just start putting these guys in here, actually. I want to make sure that this guy gets a good dude. There we go. And then the rest, I don't really care. So let's do lots of these. Alright, i got to remember that Core 4 is my main core. It's where all the strongest dudes are. Nope, missed one there. No leader. New kit. There we go. So core four is done. The Alpine, <laughs> Alpine core. Actually, gonna give them this guy. Do I have any other skills that doesn't have? Ooh, trickster. Surprise chance. Sure, why not? Any other traits? Old guard. Okay, so all of these guys have old guard. All right, let's just take them by skill level then. He's there. You know what? Fine, I'll give you him. Whoop, what happened there? Four. Four, one. Yep, so again, apologize for how boring this is. I promise real soon we're going to be getting to some combat. Very, very shortly once, well, once I join the Axes, pretty much. Until then, not much I can do. I am kind of uh, pretty damn scared of Russia over here, so I don't know what's going to happen with them once the war begins. Hopefully Germany is good to us and uh, helps us out. And another issue that I might have will be with the, um, the British Navy right down here, because they've got all of this, so if Italy doesn't... Uh, oh, speaking of which... If Italy doesn't do what they're supposed to do, then we might be kind of boned. But, you know, well, whatever. We'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so that's our last rank 2 guy. Bunch of rank 1 dudes here. I don't really care about them. Don't want to get any... You know what? We got defensive. Go with Fortress Buster. And this should be the last one. Go with defensive. Sure, why not? I believe that's everyone. Awesome. Oh, except for these. Only got one good guy there. Uh, air tactician. Offense times 10. Sure, we'll do that on the interceptor. And these guys will get these guys. Alright. These guys good for rank? I guess they don't have a rank requirement, maybe? I don't know. Whatever. I'll give him some better. Is that going to put him over? Oh, you can just... Okay. I don't really know what the point of that is then. Alright, anyway, we are actually coming up on the end of the episode here. <laughs> kind of super boring episode here. But 
We did get everything organized. And that's all that matters in the end. So now let us get set up here for some invasions. Yes, indeed. So let us actually check. Simplify terrain mode. Mountains, plains, woods. Okay, so I'm gonna need the these guys down here. Okay, so you guys relocate there. You guys. Whoop. Oh, cool. Thanks. I'll take some extra manpower. Always nice. The Alpine core. Go there. Okay. These guys will go. Hmm, just trying to decide. Do I want to attack two guys at once? It seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try it. You know, might as well go all out. Why not? Core one. So you got. Five guys, you got five. Can I still like double select? No, I can't. Okay, so you guys go up there. And you guys go up here. And then you guys go over here, actually. I don't want to be crossing over that river. So that might be, uh, might be kind of poopy. So, I'm just actually going to move all of these guys here instead. Where's the mountains at? Alright, perfect. And on that note, while everybody reorganizes here, I am probably... Oh, going to enact another law. Yes, one year draft. Thank you very much. A little bit of extra manpower there. Always good. And yes, I believe I will leave it here for now. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm going to be doing that, this Let's Play well, probably until I get bored of <laughs> of Hearts of Iron. That's pretty much what happened with Omerita. That game is... It's fun, but it's, it's very, very superficial. There's not much to do. So this game, a lot more to do. And I really enjoy strategy games, so... I'm probably going to continue this for a while, at least until I die. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.